the abdominal circumference assessment will be executed as follows. The member shall stand on a flat surface with feet no more than shoulder width apart and look directly forward with the chin parallel to the deck. The measurement will be taken on bare skin. The measurement will be taken immediately above the uppermost hip bone of the iliac crest on the right side of the body and vertically in line with the right armpit or medaxillary line. The member may assist the tester in locating the measurement site by resting the right hand on the hip and using their thumb to locate the iliac crest. The tester will determine the final intersection point of the starting measurement site and place the bottom of the tape at the top of the iliac crest. The member remains stationary while the tester conducts the measurement. The tester will place the tape horizontally around the abdomen while ensuring the tape remains parallel to the deck and at the level of the starting measurement site. The tape should be snug but not compress the bare skin. The tester will take the measurement at the end of the member's normal exhalation. The tester will take the circumference measurement two times and record each measurement. If the measurements differ by more than one inch, the tester will take an additional measurement. The tester will add the two closest measurements, divide by two, and round down to the nearest half inch. The tester will record this value as the abdominal circumference measurement. Individuals who have a large abdominal circumference are at increased risk for hypertension, adult onset diabetes, cardiovascular disease, gallstones, arthritis, and some forms of cancer. Males with a waist circumference greater than 39 inches and females with a waist circumference greater than 35 and a half inches are at high risk. Males with a waist circumference from 35 to 39 inches and females with a waist circumference of 31 and a half to 35 and a half inches are at moderate risk.